If CROD in poultry bed is not treated right, many other diseases will affect your beds. Just like coccidiosis, CROD is one other very stubborn disease in poultry that is very difficult to eradicate. If you are using synthetic drugs, maybe tylosine or any other drugs, they hardly clear it completely. Rather, they just suppress it and after some days, or weeks you see the symptoms again the first secret tip i want to share with you is that if your beds are sick of crod consistently then try changing the source of your beds or the hatchery there are more helpful tips on this video just watch till the end as i also give details of how to make the best natural and fastest herbal remedy for complete cure of crod in your poultry beds what's up my people welcome to life of a farmer love you can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Love for regular updates. I remain your anchor, Ishokri of Okeronye. You can call me Ovorons. I appreciate all my old and new subscribers and viewers that are yet to subscribe. Please kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you will be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. You can give this video a like, comment and share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. What you actually call cough or sneezing in your bed is actually referred to as chronic respiratory disease, CROD for short. This disease is as stubborn and difficult to treat completely just like coccidiosis. The causative organism is Mycoplasma galiseptikum and it affects old brellas, layers and other beds. The second secret tip I want to share with you is that after you have done the first tip and there is still reoccurrence of CROD among your beds is to change your feed. This was my practical experience on the farm which I got to know coincidentally. While I was using a particular feed for my brellas, I noticed that I always spend huge money on CROD before I started finding alternative through the use of herbs which I will show you shortly. And there was a time the particular feed I was using wasn't available when I got my new day old chicks. But because I have to feed these chicks, I opted for another brand. Usually, by 4 to 5 weeks, I will notice CROD symptoms when using the old feed. But before sales of 6 to 7 weeks after using this new feed, there was no sign of CROD among the beds. It was my farm attendant that even drew my attention to it that Oga will not treat cough for this bear though. That was when I got to pay more attention to their feed. Outside hatchery sauce and feed, Another likely cause of CROD is stress and this could be as a result of dust, cold, viral infection such as Newcastle disease could also lead to CROD. And heat stress is one other major cause of CROD in poultry beds. I have series of videos about how to identify, manage and control heat stress in both layers and brellas and also an herbal remedy for effective control of heat stress in poultry with just three ingredients from your kitchen. You can use the link above and I will also drop the link at the bottom of the description box. Do well to watch them after watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks. It is very important to be sure that your beds are suffering from CROD because most poultry diseases have similar symptoms so you don't have to end up treating the wrong diseases making your beds not to get the needed cure. For this reason, here are different symptoms of CROD in poultry. 1. When you notice watery discharge from the nostril and eyes of your beds, that is a pointer to CROD. The discharge could also be forming in the eyes. 2. If you notice beds wheezing or snoring when breathing or a sudden sharp sound that is very short. The third sign is reduction in weight and reduction in feed consumption. Fourth, if you notice swelling in the eyes of the bed, this is also a possible sign of CROD. The fifth sign is lethargy. The bed will remain in one spot, unable to move, very lazy, such that you will have to touch, push or check them before they move. The sixth sign is that there is decrease in egg production in laying beds. Because it affects the respiratory tract, it can lead to lameness, loss of appetite, stunted growth and even greenish droppings. The third secret tip I want to share with you is how you can be very sure that your beds are suffering from CROD. It's very simple. All you just need to do is visit them at night. During this time, you will hear the sound very clear and if you are very observant, you will be able to pick out the particular ones that have severe symptoms. There is also a fourth secret tip for you. 
do not skip please i will unveil it soon the best and the most important way to keep your bears free from crd and possibly other poultry disease is to practice the basic rules of biosecurity you can use the link above and also at the bottom of the description box to watch it the first secret tip i have for you and also a preventive measure is to use iodine in your bed's drinking water at least once or twice in a week this is a very potent antiviral antibacterial antifungal and a very good disinfectant for your poultry beds you can use the link by the end of this video to watch how to use it practicing all in all out will help to reduce the bacterial load on the farm to get this herbal mixture you will need the following ingredients 10 to 15 grams or 3 to 5 raw ginger 10 to 15 grams or half bob of garlic 10 to 15 grams of pepper or 2 to 3 teaspoon of grounded pepper 10 to 15 grams of scent leaf or 3 to 5 handful of scent leaves 5 tablespoon of honey or 10 to 15 ml of molasses and 500 to 700 ml of water wash all ingredients and blend to get a smooth paste using the 500 to 700 ml of water once this is done it is ready to use you can administer at a rate of 10 min to 1 liter of water for curative for three days take a break for one day by giving plain water then repeat for another two to three days this is for curative in other words you can just administer straight for five days in cases of prevention you can use 15 to 20 ml to 1 liter of water for two to three days in a week for the first time thereafter use once in every week this mixture can stay up to two to three weeks however keeping it in the refrigerator will preserve it longer some farmers are of the opinion that these herbal remedies don't work for their beds to find out why this is not working for your beds you can use the end screen showing now to watch my video on reasons why organic or herbal medicine are not working for your poultry beds please subscribe and turn on the bell icon for prompt updates whenever i upload a new video like comment and share for others to benefit thanks and god bless see you in my next video peace out